Good morning, everyone. This is Mary Weber. I am known as Travel Guru Girl. I have two um, uh, uh, websites, www.travelgurugirl.com and also the women's travel uh, website, www.travel, sorry, www.capricegirlsonthego.com. And today I'm, I'm going to give you a travel inspiration, which is good for all travelers. However, I want to fo focus my talk on the ladies that want to travel out there. So the Caprice girls on the girl on the go girls. Um, so the reason being that um, sometimes um, women come to a point in their lives that they want to travel, but they don't have anyone to travel with. Um, also that um, they want to travel safely. They may not necessarily be interested in a tour or have been on tours and maybe were turned off. Um, but this is a good opportunity because this is called a local living. So the maximum is eight people. Um, you will be matched with someone of the same sex or you can pay to have your own room. Um, and then you stay in one location for the duration of this particular trip. And this is ideal in a place like Italy because you want to get a feel for the atmosphere and not go bang, 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 I'm, I'm going here, I'm going there, and I'm following uh, 40 people, blah, blah, blah. So uh, this should appeal to a lot of people. It's something I would suggest if you want to go a little bit slower pace, not be with a ton of people, but also have some experiences that uh, you, you hear about, but maybe you don't know how you can get to. So this is called Local Living San Giomano in um, Italy, and it's in the Tuscany region, which, of course, if someone wants to travel to Italy, they always think of going to Tuscany and seeing the beautiful sweeping hills and the vineyards and tasting the wine and the wonderful food. So let's uh, I'm going to share my screen and give you just a little bit of uh, a picture show just because that's a little bit easier to see. And I'll, I'll give you a brief description of this trip. Okay, so um, in Tuscany, of course, one of the major cities in Tuscany is Florence. So um, it, on another day, I'll be talking a little bit more about the rest of Tuscany, but today I'm focusing on local living. So just so you have a map of Tuscany, this is the general region, um, wherever my mouse is, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna be going to San Giumano, and here you can see Pisa, Florence, Lucca, Siena, uh, Maltepiciano, um, all these places that are famous in um, the Chianti region uh, and, Tus and Tuscany. So um, just so you get an idea of where you're going. And of course, this is the kind of views that you'll see when you visit the Tuscany region. Wow, I mean, doesn't that make you want to go right now? It certainly does me. And this one is um, local living, so it will start in Rome. So you can go a couple of days early, which I would suggest that you would do. A couple of weeks ago, I talked about Rome, and I think that was that. If you go back and maybe view that uh, video, you'll see that um, uh, what all the different things that you can do in Rome, and it's well worth going to Rome early. Number one, if you're just coming in, and you might have some jet lag, and then of course all the things that you can see is Vatican Museum, the Sistine Chapel, the Pantheon, the Christian Catacombs, the Colosseum where the gladiators used to fight, the Trevi Fountains, um, the food, um, just the excitement of that uh, of Rome. So uh, that's an option for you. And so here it starts in Rome and ends in Rome. So um, you'll meet on the uh, the first day, whatever that happens to be, if you come in a couple of days early, then that's not counted. So then you'll meet with your group leader and your other companions on that day. And then you can choose to go out for a meal if you like as a group. Uh, then on day two, you're going to be taking a train and a bus to get to San Giamano. So local living is quieter and you can do things at your own pace. So even though 
Um, a lot of stuff is organized for you. There is a ton of free time, so it's not like uh, a traditional tour. Some meals are included because they want you to be encouraged to try out the local cuisine. And of course, Italian food is so wonderful as is their wine. So you want to be able to try that out independently as well. So you'll be taken on an orientation walk of the area with your guide. They'll show you where the supermarket is, where the ATM is, the main squares, that sort of thing. And this is gives you kind of a visual of, of the area of, um, let me go back there. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so this is the area around uh, Tuscany and in San Giomano. It's just a lovely, beautiful, ancient place to go. On day three, you, uh, your CEO will take you uh, for a walk around the city walls, which date back to the 13th century. You can walk all seven kilometers or you can walk as much as you want. You'll have sweeping views from the top uh, outside the walls and down the back streets. In the afternoon, you'll be taking a cooking class. This just might be what your cooking class looks like. I can't exactly say what it's gonna look like, but that will give you a general idea. And there's many uh, optional uh, things to do around town. So you can climb the tower that even gets you up higher above um, and the valleys and see everything that's in the area. Uh, wine museum, uh, churches, just walking. On day four, you'll be taken on a day trip to Siena. Um, you'll get an orientation walk and then you have free time to explore on your own. So uh, you can go up to this tall tower and really get a good view of the area around. Uh, you can go to the main piazza and uh, during this piazza, uh, there's lots of restaurants, lots of shopping around in that area. But it's also where twice a year there's a horse race that occurs right in the middle of this piazza. So um, it might be an interesting time to go sometime when that's on. It would be very busy though. And you can visit the Domo that was uh, built between 1215 and 1263. So a lovely area to explore. So there's a picture of the outside of the cathedral and some uh, pictures of the Gothic streets within this area. Uh, on day five, um, you have free time to explore the market. Uh, and then uh, take a leisurely walk with the CEO again along the Tuscan countryside along this historical Via Francia Jena path that was used over a thousand years ago for pilgrims to travel between Canterbury, England and Rome. There's lovely woods, a stream and vineyards. Uh, that evening you will have a local wine tasting at your agriturismo. On day six, you'll have a day trip to Florence. So Florence is the cradle of the Renaissance, the Italian Renaissance. And you can just see from this picture how beautiful it is. Um, there's the bridge, the Ponte Vecchio, there's the Domo um, and that area where you can see uh, that's off the piazza um, as well, where a lot of the things you wanna see are. So it's just a stunning, beautiful area. So, the Domo, uh, that's a closer uh, picture of it. Uh, there's these little people uh, here are actually at the top of the Domo. So you can go into the Domo and pay to go up to the to uh, top of this. It's a long and very uh, narrow walk up. Um, the uh, construction of the, the Domo and the baptistry is of green, pink and white marble from the 13th century. So um, it's just really beautiful, beautiful uh, marble work. The baptistry is right next to the Domo. That's where they used to do baptism. And it's renowned for its three sets of artistically uh, bronze door with relief sculptures. So that's all in brown, bronze right there. And this is a, more of a picture of one of the gates, um, a view going down the street, and then a view on the outside of the Domo. Um, another famous part is uh, go, things to do is the Uffizi Gallery, and this was constructed as offices originally for magistrates by the Medici's, and it's uh, most important. It holds the most important Renaissance art um, 
from Italy, and an example of that is Venus by Botticelli. Now, this museum contains many, many, not just Italian um, artists. Uh, I've been through it, it's huge, and it's wonderful if you like artwork. So this is off the main square here, down this street is what you see here. So you can see that uh, sometimes of the year now, who knows what it's gonna be like in the near future, but how crowded it could be. So you do wanna get your tickets in advance. Um, uh, the other place you'd want to go is to the acad Academia, and that's for David, which is the statue by Michelangelo. And it's just a beautiful, stunning uh, sculpture. And of course, Michelangelo had many, many different ones um, that he sculpted over his lifetime. And of course, he's also fa uh, famous for doing the Sistine Chapel scene. Um, this is a picture of the piazza. You can see how big it is. Um, there's lots of restaurants and shopping around here. It's easy to get around in uh, Florence, so no problems. You can get quickly get oriented. Um, this is just the city hall. And then farther down the street off the square is the Uffizi Gallery. This is a picture of the Ponte Vecchio, the famous bridge on the Arno River. I think it dates back to the 1400s as well. Famous now for its jewelry shopping, but was a, a major mercantile area in, during it, the early times. Uh, the Santa Croce Church is off, uh, just a little bit off the piazza, uh, next to lots of shopping and restaurants again. And it all, it's a beautiful church, but it also hosts the tombs of many, many people, one of them being Michelangelo and Galileo. And of course, uh, shopping, lots of leather, beautiful, beautiful soft leather for jackets and purses and wallets, that sort of thing. Uh, lots of other shopping. The uh, Italians are renowned for their style and um, they're always impe impeccably dressed. So lots of restaurants to uh, try different foods. So after you come home the next day, um, you will either stay on in Tuscany if you wish. The tour is officially over, but you can stay on. And that's what I would suggest that you would do is to go and explore some of those other parts of Tuscany. And those are things that I can work out. And then uh, go back to Rome uh, if you aren't staying on and go to other parts of Europe or go home, whichever is happens to be on your itinerary. So there's lots, lots that can be customized for you, but if you're uh, a little bit nervous and uh, you wanna meet some other women travelers, I suggest that this is a great trip. I'm um, going to uh, try uh, to convince people to go for September of 2022 uh, and see if we can get eight, lady, eight ladies to go. I know that there's a couple of ladies interested right now. So let's see if we can get Caprice Girls on the go going on a local living in Italy. Uh, my name is Mary Weber, travel guru girl and caprisegirlsonthego.com and my email is m-w-e-b-b-e-r at t as in tom p as in paul i as in idaho dot ca and i hope to hear from you if you're interested but please if um if you're not interested but you know someone that might be please feel free to share this video with them thanks again and have such a great day okay <laughs>